After day two's debacle, Kent knew it anyway, but it is now confirmed that they'll be playing their cricket in the LV County Championship Second Division again next year after they fell to a seven-wicket defeat to Glamorgan in Cardiff. In order to go up, Kent had to win this game, but began the third day on 33 for two after following on. That left them 187 runs behind. Their only hope was to bat throughout this day to somehow put pressure back on their hosts. And Sam Northeast and Brendan Nash began well enough in taking the total to 91. Northeast has been in excellent form of late, and so his wicket was always going to be an important one. It came when he edged John Glover behind at the start of the second hour. Nash had outscored his partner in the first hour and went to a well-executed 50, but straight afterwards he edged a lifter from Glover behind. And another collapse was on when, next ball, Glover trapped Darren Stevens in front for a golden duck. Glover, who's had a great match, thought he had a chance of a hat-trick when Geraint Jones, well out of his crease, shouldered arms and was hit on the pad. It was not out. Jones was soon into his stride as he tried to ruin Robert Croft's last day as a professional cricketer by hitting him over the top for a six. Jones had come to the crease with his side on 96 for five, still 124 runs away from making Glamorgan bat for a second time. He always enjoys battles against the Welsh, a county he is, of course, associated with, as is his partner Mike Powell, who represented Glamorgan for 15 years before leaving for Kent at the end of last season. This is a ground then that he knows exceptionally well, and he was starting to enjoy his return at last. As this partnership started to really develop, thoughts must have gone back to that hideous post tea session on the previous day. Without that, Kent would have still been in with a shout of going up. Losing 10 wickets in a 15-over spell, though, had seen them now playing catch-up. Although, with these two playing attractively, there was still hope of trying to knock off the deficit and then seeing what happened next. Cricket has thrown up some incredible turnarounds in the past, and how Kent needed one of them now. These two took their partnership to 91 in surviving for 30 overs. Powell would have dearly loved to go on, but on 40, he edged the man he must know very well, Croft, to slip. He left with his side on 187 for six, still 33 runs behind. Kent were able to get themselves ahead after James Treadwell joined Jones, who passed a 50 off 97 balls. Had these two and those around them batted like this on the previous day, then who knows? But then again, cricket is all about ifs and buts. Kent were developing some decent partnerships now, though, and these two added a further 57 to put their side 22 runs to the good. So they were effectively 22 for 7 when Treadwell was LBW to Jim Allenby, the wicket falling 24 hours after the season-defining collapse on Wednesday. And another collapse was on the cards when two balls later Matt Coles was out, soon followed by Jones, who on an excellent 81, top edged to pull off Allenby and was held in the deep by Nick James at 244 for nine. The last pair of Charlie Shrek and Mark Davis now had a go just to see what they could get, Shrek hitting his third six of the match. Another hundred runs and it may have been interesting, but Shrek was then caught off Croft, who rightfully finished the innings off. That, ladies and gentlemen, was his last ball of his 14,859.2 overs in the first-class game. It gave him his 1,175th wicket to go with his 12,880 first-class runs since making his debut in 1989. He'll be missed, that's for sure. Glamorgan were left to get 61 runs then to send Derbyshire and Yorkshire delirious in Derby and Chelmsford. The Welshman lost Nick James, who edged Coles behind. Then Coles removed Stuart Walters with another catch for Jones. And when Bragg drove Shrek one-handed to Nash, Glamorgan were on 36 for three, ahead of a break for Bad Light, which threatened to halt the Derbyshire and Yorkshire celebrations. This was a moment to be enjoyed by David Lloyd on the restart. After three ducks in his first three first-class innings, he cut Coles to the boundary to get his career underway. Ben Wright then struck the winning runs to take the Morgan home by seven wickets with a day to spare. The win and 23 points means that they will avoid finishing at the bottom of the pile. For Kent, they'll reflect on some missed opportunities at Derby and against Hampshire, but they will be one of the favourites for promotion next season, that's for sure.